Hey guys, welcome back to another series of Let's Talk CS. First, uh, I want to thank you all for all the positive feedback, uh, all the nice comments. It's really, really nice and it's encouraging me to do more. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into it. So we have a question here from Ondrasek, I think you're pronouncing it. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's fine. So he wrote, how to push banana, utilities, where should I look when bombs planted? Also tips and tricks here we don't know that are useful. So it's a wide area of questions here, but I like you narrow it down. Uh, so what we're gonna look at here is how to push banana and look at utilities here. So again, we're gonna look at from the T side to begin with. Uh, so let's dive right into it. So when you wanna take banana control as a T, you have to get an understanding on what can the CTs do and what are they most likely to do. Again, you can go in Oasis to look at this, but today I'm just gonna go over the basics, like how a lot of the people are taking banana control. Uh, so, I'm just gonna look at the Molotov first, like what the CTs can do. Uh, most likely, how the beginning of a round is gonna look like as a CT, one Molo is gonna come to around broken, uh, broken wall here, like that, or they're just gonna run out and throw it like that. The idea is the same, the Molotov is gonna be there to prevent you from rushing. Now the second thing they're most likely gonna do is uh, if you're not rushing and they see okay the T's are not rushing, they're gonna do probably a double nade somewhere. Again, this is just theory, but most likely they're gonna do double nades towards wood, a tree down here, and then a Molotov that's gonna bounce towards door. So it's gonna, of course, every time I'm recording, I have to fail my nades. That's how it is. The pressure is on. So, like that is. So the the Molotov burns the left side. And we're gonna nade the right side, meaning that they know that you're not gonna be around here, so yet you have to push forward, which they would like you to do. They also gonna do a smoke deep. Uh, most of them are just gonna do a smoke like this, uh, something like that. It's gonna bounce deep and plug it here. So this is basically how they're gonna do it. There's a lot of other things they can do. For example, Astralis made this uh, really popular, where they're starting three guys banana, one guy going here, aiming here, do a left click smoke. The reason for the smoke they're doing here is to deny any Molotovs that are gonna come and then device is gonna run into the right side here and get a peek off. That's also one way of doing it. Uh, the flashbangs most likely they're gonna use is they're gonna use probably like this, throwing it to, to uh, blind the banana guys uh, if they're gonna come in. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's it for now. So if we know all these things, we have to look at that how to to punish it as a as a T. And there's a lot of different ways to doing this. So let's dive into that. So as a terrorist here, what I see a lot of people is doing is they're gonna throw go up here banana and they're gonna do this Molotov and go towards here. This is a a a, a good idea I would say. Um, but for me. I feel like you have to look at it like what does it accomplish for you guys. So basically the only thing this accomplish is that it's gonna be harder for the cities to push banana and also to, to take a peek here. But again, like I said before with the device uh, smoke here, basically you're not doing anything with that mullah in case they're gonna do this and he's still gonna have a free peek. Meaning that you're just gonna waste a molotov regardless. Uh, again, this is not because it's bad, it can easily work out, it depends all on how the CTs are playing and it, it will prevent them from doing a rush down banana and you can kind of take banana control after this while you have a guy in banana so you know the CTs are not deep here. So what you always want to do is have one guy standing down here with a flash ready. Like there's a lot of different ways of throwing this flashbang, I'm using this one, uh, you go in here and you aim in the corner here and you just jump through it. Now, uh, there's a lot of different ways of throwing these flashbangs, so this might be good for whatever, another one might be good for whatever, just play with it, be sure what you want to achieve with the flashbangs. Like this flashbang is purely so in case they go out and peek, like you can see here how it looks like, in case they go out and peek, they're gonna get full blind. That is the idea with this flashbang and it can help the guy standing door to actually get a peek off in case he goes here. A Molotov might come, he calls for the flashbang, the flashbang comes, He's gonna go out instantly peaks and like this, you know, and then he gonna get advantage most likely. That's one idea of taking it. The problem with this is, of course, all the utility is gonna rain down on you. So what I see happening a lot of times when people is going here is that they do the Molotov here. One guy is gonna go here. He stands with the smoke because he knows there's gonna come a deep Molotov. The deep Molotov comes. 
like the one I showed before, he's gonna smoke it off, and here. So this is the situation we have now, where you have a city, a, a T here, and the CT has full control of this area, more or less. And you just wasted a Molotov and a smoke. So you have to constantly think about how you're utilizing your your your, your, your utility. Again, this is not uh, bad by any means. You just have to figure out, do you need this smoke? Do you want to use the smoke? How are you going to approach the banana? It's all about the execute in the end, what you're going to do with your team. So really have that in mind if you want to go here and you're okay with dispelling your, your, your smoke here, then it's totally fine because you can also do some cool cool things about with the smoke. Like if you put it around this area here, you can kind of create a gap here that might uh, deter the CTs from pushing further. Always be aware of how the gaps looks. This is not a good gap, this is a T is peaking. The CT is going to have full advantage here. But you can use the, the ledge over here to play with and peek over the smoke where you will see them first. Um, so that's basically with the Molotov what you want to do if you do this fast. Uh, another thing you can do, and we made popular a lot in mouse sports, is that you go up here and you do a smoke instantly on the broken wall like that. Now it will do two things here. So first of all it's going to deny any aggression from CT more or less. Now I'm always saying you have to take this with a pinch of salt because they can always adapt and they can already have an counter for okay so if this smokes come we can do this 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 so always bear in mind that especially at the high level if you're gonna do this smoke they're most likely gonna have some kind of answer to it but what the smoke will do is gonna give you a lot of uh, presence on banana because here it's gonna diffuse the smoke meaning that in theory you could rush like four, five guys instantly up banana, and the cities have to respect this. So if they did the Molotov one way or another, what you most likely is gonna see is close nades, something like this. That's gonna bounce around here, because then in case you're rushing, you're just gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, but what it does give you is more or less full banana control like this. Like So because the cities have no idea if, where you are at, the smoke can be a little bit left, right, practice it, play with it however you want. For me, it's very important that we just gain this part all the way down here, ST, and we deny it completely for the CT. And most likely, you're gonna draw a lot of nades out from the CTs. Uh, when you then want to take uh, further up in Banana, up here, you can call for a teammate again. Again, like before, always have this guy here be ready with a flashbang in case the CTs think are disrespecting your smoke. Uh, when, when you go up here and do the smoke, you should always jump in here to be kind of safe. And then you have the teammate flashbang, so in case there's some aggression is going to come from the CTs, you can easily hear that by flashbangs, etc. You, you're going to call the flashbang and you're going to strafe out and of course kill him all. Hopefully, that's the idea. Um, when you then realize, okay, the CTs are respecting the smoke and not pushing it, you can go out and creep out nicely and easy. You can even get a flashbang to be sure there's nothing pushing through the smokes or whatever. And you can go up uh, here to now take top part of banana. So we're gonna divide the banana in two parts. Like this is the top part banana. This is what we really would like to get to gain control of as a T, especially this area here, because that means we can do a full X cube when we come up here. The second part here, lower banana, or what you want to call it, is also valuable because you then know that the CTs are most likely playing two guys banana and not only one guy. Uh, as you see a lot of people are doing this, uh, either this jump here to get control, like Frozen did a lot, um, or they're simply just going to hold it with an AWP. That's why you want to make sure you, you at least have this control here as a T. You then want to get a flashbang from a mate. Uh, a really good flashbang I can show you here, uh, a lot of teams are using, uh, we call it wall flash. You line up with this one here. And then you look and uh, the edge here, remember to stay crouched, you aim on this side here and just left click it. Uh, the flash can look like this, just bounce here and it's going to be a really hard time for the CTs to dash this flash because it's going to come fast. And what you can do with it is uh, the guy pushing up here, like just to show you like how it all looks like, guy is pushing here to the smoke, realizing okay no one is pushing, maybe good that do the one flash over here, uh, the flash comes to someone here, I'm going to Clear close, uh, give him the wall flash, it's gonna come here. What's not that one? There it is, it's gonna come like that. And you, it's gonna look like this, you're gonna go close here, and you guys peek like this. 
So you can run on it instantly without getting blind. Uh, so you're gonna be close, flash comes, you're just gonna do this. And then you have top seven. Um, what you also can do is like, just say, okay, we're totally fair with the cities are getting banana control and then simply just give it up. Maybe you have to do a molo here just to show them that we are actually banana. You can also do the smoke I said before, so the cities don't know if you're there and they have to use utility to kind of figure it out. And then you just retake banana control. Again, it's all depending on how you want to do it. But if you want to retake banana, again, make sure you have good flashes to, to, to get in. Uh, I, I rarely recommend anyone to push, like if the cities have a smoke here, I don't recommend you to push through it regardless of the flashbangs you have because let's say they're playing two guys banana, one guy's dodging, another guy's peeking, like that guy dodging is gonna kill you all 100% and you're not gonna get much from it. So in case there's smoke, leave it, it it's not worth it, the risk to, to push through it. Once the smoke fades, flash away the, the AWP there, uh, you can do it again. A lot of different flashes, but this one here should be good enough. A huge leg there, hello. Uh, this one here should be good enough. Um, and then you can just take banana control like nice knees. You flash over, you go and take it, maybe get a wall flash again like I said before, and you have top banana. How, to, how you can also do is, again, some theory. I want you guys to be creative, figure out, okay, so if this is the normal nades the CTs are doing, it's something we tried in mouse uh, against Fnatic because I realized they always do this smoke here. And I thought like, is there any way we can punish the smoke? And we didn't really make it to work that good, but maybe some of you guys can make it work better than we can. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the idea of it here. Um, so basically the idea was that one go here and do the bullets of here. And then the smoke comes and I'm just going to show you how it looks like. Here, like that, and you have a gap here, left side of the smoke, and Voxic was holding here with an off, like this. So it can give the, the some false uh, sense of security for the CTs here. Uh, we didn't really get it to work that well, but I think the idea is really good, and maybe you guys can play with it more and get some success out of it. That's my idea at least, I hope it. So <laughs> let's go try that. So last thing I want to talk about is uh, this. When, once you get the, the top banana control here, what you will see a lot of times is the CT is retaking it. And the retake is, there's a lot of different variation. One thing is, it, it can look like it's like this. They do a Molotov here, they smoke here. And how it's gonna look is like this. Meaning that it's gonna burn here, smoke there. And then they're gonna have a flashbang. Uh, there's a lot of different flashbangs, but be ready for at least this one here. Uh, where it will flash you completely, regardless of where you are, uh, more or less. Uh, it can be another one, of course, but it's something you really have to be aware of. And here you have to have some contingency plan, like what do you do in case they do this retake? Do you leave it? Do you fight for it? Are you two guys playing that? Are you alone? It all depends on this. If you're alone, it's really hard to do anything unless just going full ham and trying to, to, to get something out of it before the flash comes. Like the second you hear the Molotov, you have to take a decision, either you fight it or you go away, especially if you're alone. If you're two guys, you can do something else. You can maybe ask for a Molotov towards entrance or you can uh, get a flashbang or whatever. But you have to have talked about this already before you go in so you do know what the plan is, the idea is. One thing I forgot to talk about is the T, is you want to take the banana in sections kind of. So you want to first take this part here, make sure that there's no AWP peeking you. You can do that with the flashbang I showed before from down here. Make sure that there's no one peeking you from the broken wall or, or behind the car. Uh, and the second part you want to do is take the top side banana here. A really, really good idea to always use is this model up here. That's model having interests. Uh, to make sure there's no up here peeking you because that's really hard to deal with especially a really good offer He's gonna dodge and go forward and kill you if you don't do the small stuff uh, Then of course get the wall flash I talked about before So you can get the top side banana You can use two Molotovs here to make sure there's that no one out uh, One Molotov's uh, the entrance here And uh, another gun is Molotoving uh, sandbags And then you get the wall flash and you should have the top banana for free now, like it's very difficult for the cities to do anything here. Uh, as always, I probably forget something, but then hopefully I'm gonna 
put in the next video. Uh, I really like that you're uh, writing below like the ideas and thoughts you have. Uh, so keep doing that. It gives me a lot of motivation and uh, it's really nice to hear your thoughts about it as well. Uh, keep sending me clips, etc. If you have some ideas with Nate, uh, some guys did that. It's really cool. Subscribe and let's talk some CS.